Mic check, one, two. Microphone checker. Des Rocks today at King of the Pit TV. Last listen through today. I've had I've had a good day of listening to music. I'm gonna finish off with a little bit of death metal, yeah? Immolation. Never checked out Immolation. I think Immolation played. Nah, Incantation played here as of recently. Um, I'm unfamiliar with both bands, to be honest with you, but this is Immolation in their debut entitled Dawn of Possession. Really don't know what to expect. Um, but there's only one way to find out. We've got to start somewhere, right? So if you're a death metal head, if you're an Immolation head, feel free to engage. Please do so. As always, if you want to uh, have your own say and put forward your own recommendations, do it via the Patreon, yeah? Into Everlasting Fire is track number one. Let's jump in. I might have a couple of couple of sips of a couple of cans tonight, all right, people. I might I might get a cup to pour it out because I don't know what YouTube's like as far as like you know clearly drinking. But I got a I got a fizzy pop in the meantime, all right. Peace. Straight into it. Organic kick. It. There we go. Come on. Sounds like this dude's riffing off the uh, neck pickup, man. It's very, very bassy. Like the, the high end's been rolled off.
Bum bum ba da ba ba bum ba da ba. Tight band, good production value, interesting sound on the guitar, interesting guitar tones, almost fuzzed them guitars. This is interesting, I know we're going to have some fantastic riffs on this record just by that first track. This is going to be good, this is going to be good, we've got Despondent Souls coming up next, alright, let's keep going. There's Rocksteady King of the Pit TV, Dawn of Possession is the title of the record we're listening to today. By Immolation. This is track number 2 of 10 entitled Despondent Souls. Nineteen ninety one. Someone says morbid angel on steroids. I like the slur with the vocals, like the, like that drawling. Really good. A question for the metalheads out there. What's better, Immolation or Morbid Angel? Let me know. What do you think?
ticket, 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 ticket. Them pinch harmonics are very modern. Would you say them pinch harmonics and the, the excessive usage of them pinch harmonics were ahead of its time? Because if this was put out in 91, I associate such frequent usage of harmonics like with deathcore and, you know, the overtly distorted, modernised variations of death metal. Maybe I'm wrong in saying that, but you let me know. You let me know because I'm still relatively new to traditional death metal we've got dawn of possession coming up next all right there's rocksteady at king of the pit tv we're listening to dawn of possession by the band Demolition. let's just jump straight in track three of ten let's go these lot are gonna take the foot off of the gas i know that come on This is death metal. This is death metal. Yeah, do you know what people get called poses and stuff? Yeah, bro, this is death metal. This is... Whoa. Hey, what would you think if a band came out with this sound, but they look like, like emos? Like, look like uh, 2000s emos with studded belts and uh, uh, big fringes and dyed hair and stuff like that. What would you think to that? What would you think to that with a sound like this? Bro, someone needs to do that. Someone needs to do that. There needs to be like a four-piece, five-piece, real, rootsy, early 90s sounding death metal act where they all just look like scene kids. That needs to be a thing. That That is that is a marketing... Oh, that, 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 that would get some hits. That would get some hits. It's just finding people who look like that who'll be interested in, uh, or have the knowledge of being able to craft music that sounds like this, you know? Get up.
what can what can be said? You know what I did on this track? I started listening out to the drummer's fills. And I'll tell you what, right? Some of it was really fantastic, but during some of the beats, some of the rhythms, it did go off a little bit, which gave it this incredible organic approach to things and sort of this this looser approach. And it happens, you know what I mean? Especially when you play music as frantic as this and you don't pick on it otherwise. You don't pick up on it if you're not like proper dialed into listening to how tight the drummer is. Um, but I'm impressed by the, the half of the fills. I, I, I like the drum sound as well. It's so organic. You know what I mean? It doesn't sound like it's polished, technologically speaking, which is really good. We've got those left behind coming up next. Des Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV. Immolation is who we're listening to tonight. Dawn of Possession is the title of the record. This one's entitled Those Left Behind. Let's go. Heavy. Who's moshing? I don't like this timing. Jesus Christ 
I like that. That's a quality rhythm. I've not heard anything like that before. Not heard anything like that. That's sick. Epic fade out as well. That was a sweet outro. That was a sweet outro, man. Some some evil riffs there. We've got internal uh, decadence coming up next. Hold on tight. Yes, now bless. Now let's get back to business, shall we? Internal decadence is the title of this one. Track number five of ten. I got everything falling everywhere. Should I crack open a beer, people? Should I crack open a beer? I got four pint cans, so I'm taking it easy tonight. Four pints. Sipping on some Cronenberg tonight, I think. And without further ado, let's get back into it. We're listening to Dawn of Possession by Immolation. Let's go. Crack it off with a Pepsi, yeah? says this album is one of the all-time death metal classic greats given the quality of it and it being released in 91 as far as my limited uh, experience with death metal is concerned yeah quite possibly quite possibly <laughs> Power to them simple jokes, huh? messing about no messing about that was internal decadence by immolation them um cymbal chokes sound great on this record drum kit is very well recorded i was going to say produced but i think there's a limitation as far as the actual production on the kit 
it just sounds very organic, very natural. The um, levels are brilliant. And when you emphasise that choke with the kick drum, dun, dun, so tight. Really good. Not a big fan of them, you know, those little ideas that come in where the timing's a little bit iffy. I just like 4-4. Four, four. I'm, not, I'm not interested in trying to follow anything that is outside of the norm, in all fairness. That's not for me. But... Not a bad tune at all. Not a bad tune at all. Bit of a heavy metal groove. We've got No Forgiveness Without Bloodshed coming up next. There's Rocksteady King of the Pit TV. We're listening to Dawn of Possession by Immolation. This one's entitled No Forgiveness Without Bloodshed. Let's go. Track number six. Feels like we just carried on from the last track. Basically the same key, right? Drum are going crazy for the last 20 seconds. Why is my guy rapping? Speak to him, come on. This is hard. Heavy. Right, I, I want you to do something for me, yeah? This guitar line... Now, this this might not make sense to people who aren't musicians, but I know a lot of you metalheads have picked up a guitar, at least. Um, these riffs, yeah? And this drum beat. Imagine it wasn't a single note. 
imagine uh, my guitar's out of tune. Um, have I got a guitar pick going? Imagine. Uh, hold on. I can't find a guitar pick nowhere. Don't want to. Uh, so so. The guitar lines are like this, right? Now, not to a T, but that's the style, in it. So, so I'm j I'm jamming out now. I'm just making up death metal riffs as we go along. I I like these kind of riffs. Anyway, to put a long story short, I'll just come up with a riff like 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 Immolation would, and the drum beats are going dugga 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 tupa 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 right. So now imagine they were power chords instead of single line. So. Let's 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 turn that into bar chords. One moment. What I'm trying to say, right? Sorry, I got noodle in there. Is that you keep the drum beat the same instead of the single, you turn it into a power chord, or even add the octave, and you played it like that. You'd have a punk rock band. It'd sound very punk rock, as as opposed to death metal. And I think that's quite cool because you would consider death metal to be the more extreme and the more technical of the two styles, but it's a lot harder to play the uh, the power chords because you need a broader spectrum of swing to get that full chord in instead of just targeting the one string. But if, if you were to play this riff with power chords instead, it's, it'd sound proper punk, man. Like these drums, these tupa 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 tupa, sounds like what you'd get in like um, SSD, like 82 um, Boston hardcore bands, Jerry's Kids and stuff like that. Maybe not the drum fills. Tupa 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 tupa. Right, let's keep on moving. Yes, now bless now people. Do not forget the rest now. It's Des Rocksteady at King of the Pit TV. You know what we're doing. You know what we do. Dawn of Possession. This is track number 7 of 10. It's entitled Burial Ground. Without further ado, my people, let's go. We're listening to Immolation tonight. Let's go.
Death Metal has the capability of incorporating very unique guitar solos because they don't have to stick with conventional melodic ideas. So you find a lot of chromaticism and a lot of noise for noise sake, but in that space there's a lot of room for manoeuvrability and this is, it can be very interesting to hear when it's not just nonsensical noise. Very good, that was Burial Ground. What needs to be said, man? What needs to be said? I think the people in the comments say it as it is, you know. True death metal, says Mo. I mean, somebody says classic perfection. I agree, it could be a classic. I don't know about perfection. I don't think there's such thing, to be honest. Um, so that was Burial Ground. Um, I'm going to leave you with a question before we go into After My Prayers. I'm going to give you a selection. You tell me who's best. Immolation, Cannibal Corpse... Morbid Angel or Deicide? Let me know in the comments. After my prayers is coming up. I'll see you there, people. Yes, now bless now, people. Don't forget to rest now. Des Rock Steady at King of the Pit TV. Signing in. After my prayers is the title of this one. It's track number 8 of 10. We're listening to the album Dawn of Possession by the death metal band Immolation. Let's go. What do you think of the album artwork? Crack up in a lager. Uh, 
Think of the pit TV mug, I think. I might have to get one made. Anybody see the footage of Dying Peters play FYA Fest to a hardcore crowd? Lively that one. That was good. After My Prayers was the title of that one. It's an incredibly mature sound. It's a very mature sound, don't you think? How long were Immolation about before the release of this record? Because this is definitely a studio release, isn't it? It's definitely a label release. It says um, provided by Roadrunner, but I don't know if Roadrunner will have bought the rights afterwards. The All Blacks BV, 1991. That's, that's who published it. 
I wonder I wonder what the story is. Does anybody know who put this record out? What label? We got Fall in Disease coming up next. Des Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV. We're listening to Dawn of Possession by Immolation. This one's entitled Fall in Disease. Let's just jump straight in. Track number nine. I said on the last track, it's very mature sounding record. Them triplets there on the kick, you don't hear them too often, do you? Here we go. Drummer going crazy on them toms there. Pretty good panning on them toms as well. Heavy. Better, better. Man, just tight as ever. This is just one of them records, right? That after you hear the first couple, you're going to continue to be blown away, but we're not going to be touching any new high standard because we're already playing what needs to be played. We are already doing what needs to be done. We are already creating high quality death metal music. And if it ain't broke, why fix it? I wonder how much additional material this band had prior to recording this because if this was all of the material they had all of the songs they wrote how incredibly consistent of a band to have done so we've got the title track coming up next 
or at least the, the band title track coming up next, Immolation. I'll see you there. Oh, uh, Let's finish this record off, yeah? King of the Pit TV, Des Rock Steady. You know who it is by now. Dawn of Possession. This is Immolation by Immolation. Track number 10 of 10. Let's go. Death to all but metal. That's what they say, yeah? What do you think of the vocals, man? What do you think of the vocals? I mean, people always crack jokes talking about a death metal grab being cookie monster vocals, but we got some cookie monster vocals right about now. drummer has got fantastic unique capability to add these just brilliant I wouldn't say intricate rhythms but it goes out of the box from time to time I've heard it tinging away on the bell I just heard it there with the kick at the end of that phrase what we heard cycle through a few times. It, he's, I'm not a drummer, so I can't really put it into words properly. But he, he, he thinks outside of the box from time to time, or at least performs outside of the box. Gives ideas that I've not come across before. And I'm sure in the realm of being a drummer, that's very hard to do, especially with beats. They've all been done before, haven't they, really? So it's, it's, you know what I mean? I, I assume there's not the broad spectrum of capability that you have when you're playing a, a melodic instrument. Come on. Better, but... 
Very cool. That was Immolation, and that was the last track of the record. What did you think? What did I think? I'm going to give my final view of this record in one moment. I'm going to give you my final overview, and I'll give you a rating, all right? I'll see you there on that video. Peace. Yes, now, bless now, people. Don't forget the rest. Now, Des Rocks did it at King of the Pit TV. Not Kink of the Pit TV, all right? It's not that time of night. We listen to Immolation today, or tonight, should I say. It's one in the morning, people. It's one in the morning. I'm sipping. I'm just one beer down, just a pint can. Enjoying myself, enjoying the lager at the weekend. Ten tracks, Dawn of Possession. I think the fan on my laptop's going a little bit mad. I might need to cool this baby down. Dawn of Possession is what we listen to. Um, the debut by Immolation. Yeah, I, I got shook there. You see me? It was a good record. Um, it wasn't... My taste of metal, right? It's death metal. We know this by now. Death metal... I'm I'm a punk head, so I want to see some crossover. This was more of a heavy metal death metal band, although it was pretty thrashing in some places. That being said, it's better than Bolt Thrower's debut. I'll tell you that. This was very well produced. This record, without having a full grasp of the broad spectrum that was early 90s death metal. This band came with a sound that I could understand if anybody was to call it a classic. Incredibly consistent, focused, concentrated, tight. Never strays from the sound. And that sound is as pure of a death metal sound as I've heard. The guitar work. Tremolo picked one line riffing. Heavy metal laden. Pirate ship rhythm. Guitar lines and drumming. The drummer had fills for days. The drummer was incorporating rhythm and ideas on that kit. As to which I have never heard. Ever. The production of the drum kit was organic. The kick in particular so clear. So punchy yet so real. The studio magic existed because the production was clear and really complimentary of the band. But... We weren't listening to some like newfangled sci-fi tech band. We were listening to a traditional death metal epic. And the production worked in collaboration with the band and the songwriters and created a great product. The vocals, you're either going to love them or hate them. If you hate them, you're in for a bad ride because the vocals are just consistent. There's no highs. It's just... Burp, 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 burp. It's Cookie Monster through and through. My headphones aren't great for bass lines and, you know, highlighting bass frequencies when there's, you know, the whole coverage of the spectrum. But I couldn't pick out too much bass guitar. I, I, I don't think the bass has got given the time to shine, unfortunately. Not one time throughout this record, which kind of sucks. It, it really sucks. 
I don't like it when bands do that. I do not like it when bands do that. I like the bassist to have their time. But all together, this band was really good. Um, where do I go from here? Generally, we're sort of within the tempo of, let's say, 60 to 80%. Actually, let's say 50 to 80%. We don't go so far. It's very rare that we get a blast beat. It's rare that we get a blast beat. I wasn't picking them up, really. By the time we got to what I considered or consciously sort of focused on being the first blast beat, we must have been four tracks in. Which isn't a bad thing, really, you know. I think the quality of a blast beat really comes down to how well the production is. If the production allows the blast to have clarity, then I think it's really exciting to listen to. If the timbre of the drums give it that end... It did on this record. Because there's, you know, there's all right being extreme metal, but sometimes things could just be a bit too cluttered and noisy for it to be an enjoyable audio experience, for me at least. Ten tracks. Could it be eight tracks? Possibly, because you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. There's such a consistency throughout the record I would argue you could remove one or two tracks um, and not have it make a difference and I want to open a discussion with the death metal fans here because I'm a fan of extreme music and I've listened to and I've listened to this since a long time now like extreme music is not a problem, man. But I still wouldn't necessarily be able to decipher one track from another when it comes to this traditional death metal stuff, for the most part. Are we just highlighting riffs? Do you like the songwriting? Do you like a particular riff that stands out to you? Does it all come down to a particular section which you think is cool? Or is it the song as a whole? Or is it something else? Let me ask you that because... To me, do you know when people say, oh, it all sounds the same, like, people who are outside of this culture say, oh, it all sounds the same. And, like, some metalheads would say, oh, all electronic music sounds the same, or all pop music sounds the same, right? Even though I've got my ear to the ground, I can feel that way with this sort of music from time to time. I can tell you one song from the other on the record. Now... Let me give this a rating out of 10. Did I enjoy it more than Morbid Angels, Altars of Madness? I'll say it edged it. I'll say it just, 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 just a little bit more so. I'll say just a bit more so. Did I enjoy it more than Deicide's debut? No. No, I didn't. Did I enjoy it more than Cannibal Corpse's debut? Possibly. Possibly. Now, I don't know what I've rated them records, but on this experience by itself, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Not down to where I believe it stands in metal, because it's clearly a great record, but... Just through my own personal experience. I'm ne I'm not going to return to this. I'm going to go to sleep tonight. Well, I, I don't even need to go to sleep. I've forgotten the record already. To be honest with you. It was an okay listening experience. It was an easy listening experience. But there was no hook. There was nothing. There was nothing to bring me back to this record. Simple as. And on that note, I'm signing out. So peace. One love, people.